Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzlin' Spice. I'm excited today. I am making a dish that's really just got incredible depth of flavor. I'm making Polish style meatballs today. Sometimes, you know, I get my ideas when I'm shopping and we have gone to a Polish market several times and I'll get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's exciting, it's part of my heritage. I do have some Polish in me. Um, and But sometimes I get the greatest ideas when I do the shopping because I saw the Polish meatballs, they're in this beautiful, rich, decadent mushroom gravy and I thought, you know what? I bet I can make that and I can probably make it better. And I did. So this is all we're gonna need. I'm making a huge portion, they freeze beautifully and I do have a special guest coming today. So I'm gonna share some with her, but this is all we're gonna need. We're gonna need some fresh mushrooms as many as you like, and I love mushrooms. We're going to need a little bit of beef broth. We're gonna be using two pounds of ground pork and two pounds of ground beef. Now, if you prefer just beef, that's perfectly fine. I like the combination and the way that tastes. We're gonna be using salt and pepper, of course. We'll be using a few eggs. We'll be using a couple of Vidalia onions. You, if you know me, my Vidalia onions are my favorite. They're very sweet. We're gonna use some butter. We'll need a little bit of flour to thicken up the gravy. And we're gonna use this uh, vegetable base. It's kind of interesting. It's a thick, thick paste you can use instead of bouillon cubes. And I think that the flavor is even richer. It gives the food just an incredible depth of flavor. We're gonna use some sour cream, and here's the star of this dish, porcini mushrooms. These are dried porcini mushrooms. They look like very little in the bag, but you'll be amazed at the flavor. This is what makes this Polish style gravy. Let's get started. I just wanted to show you the kind of noodles that I got to put these meatballs on top of. When I do a dish like this, I like the noodles to be as thick as they possibly can so they'll soak in as much of that fabulous gravy as possible. So get the extra wide noodles. If you don't have them, you can always use a different kind. Let's get this going. Me too. I mean, I've been thinking about this for a while. <laughs> We've been trying to set this up for several weeks and we finally found a date that worked for both of us. So I'm so happy to have Nancy as my special guest today. Nancy's my sister. You know, we're so lucky. We come from a family of six kids, four girls and two boys. And we've always been best friends since the beginning. We may have our differences occasionally, Maybe. but uh, we know we can count on each other. So I'm so excited that you're here. Me too. <laughs> I took Nancy some Polish meatballs when I made them once, but this is the first time she's here cooking with me. I'm excited. So let's get started. Okay. I've got six cups of boiling water here. Let me show you what we're gonna do with this next. These porcinis. Smell nice. Oh, oh smell awesome. <laughs> Each bag is an ounce. It seems like so little, but it packs a punch of flavor. The smell is like, whoa. It's really, it's it really awesome. strong. Let's pour it, those three bags. I'm using three one ounce bags of dried porcinis. Nancy, could you get the boiling water sure. off the stove? We're gonna let these mushrooms steep. What that means is to kind of re, uh, rewaken them. Go ahead. How much do I put in? All of it, if you can fit it. Really? Just pour it slowly. And it's going to absorb all that? It will. And wow. we're going to let that steep in this hot water for about 30 minutes, because besides reconstituting those mushrooms, it's going to create a beautiful flavored broth that we'll use in this mushroom gravy. Does it all fit? It will. So when it absorbs it, you're going to you're gonna use, like all the juice is gonna go in what we're making? Yes, but we do have to be careful because the dried mushrooms will create a sediment, a kind of sandy grit that will fall down to the bottom of the bowl. We don't wanna use that. So how do you get them? How do you well, get them I either will take them out with my fingers or I'll use a slotted spoon. These mushrooms will go right into the gravy 
And then I'll pour the broth in, being very careful not to let the stuff at the mm -hmm. bottom go into the pot. Oh, that's good. So let's move on to the next step. All right, let's get this meatballs going. This is the next step. Sometimes when I make meatballs, I put them onto parchment paper in the oven uh, because I don't need any of the juices. In today's recipe, I'm going to actually brown these meatballs in a pan because I want some of that unctuous gravy that comes from the meatballs mm. to add to the fabulousness of the mushroom gravy. What kind of gravy? Unctuous? <laughs> unctuous. I like that. I love that word. Unctuous just kind of means rich, something that just coats the inside of your mouth, is delectable Delicious. and decadent. That's unctuous. I love unctuous. <laughs> Let's talk about bowls for a minute. Nancy. An antique. <laughs> this is really an antique. This is from Tupperware. Look at it. It's been melted a couple times in my dishwasher. But I love this bowl, and I use it when I'm making a big batch of meatballs like this. I have so, two of them. You do? Yeah, they're old. Yeah. yeah they're old. <laughs> I only have one. I wonder if they sell them anymore. I had yellow, too. Cool. Yellow and green. Cool. Let's talk about bowls. Here's my Rachel Ray bowl. How many do you have? I have three. Purple, uh, green, and cranberry. Nice. Mm -hmm. The cranberry one is gorgeous. I don't yep. have that one, you but I get do it. have four. This is my garbage bowl. It's like a lifesaver for me. It really keeps your cooking organized. So I don't have to keep running back and forth to the garbage can. But let's get these meatballs going. And what you can do for me, Nancy, okay. is you can use, we're gonna use the box grater, the largest holes here. Oh, this is a nice one. Yeah. To, uh, I like that it has the rubber bottom here. It kind of- Where'd you get that? I think, I'm not even sure. I like I'll it. have to look that up and I can post that in the description of this video if you guys are looking for a, a that's great a, box. Yeah, that's grater. a nice one. I the rubber bottom it keeps it from sliding right. around. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? The onions? I do. Okay. Do and them all. Okay. Yes. And while okay. you do that, I'm going to get the meatball mixture started here. I'm putting in my two pounds of ground beef, and I'm going to put in my two pounds of pork to get this going. This is probably going to make us oh maybe thirty meatballs. What? You can Ooh. take some home with you today. If you like. like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, now on top of that, I'm gonna use three eggs. Normally when I'm making a meatloaf or a meatball mixture, I use about one egg per pound of meat, but four would probably be too much. You just learn that from experience. So I'm gonna use three eggs in here. I'm just gonna beat these up real well. Work it, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> The smell in this kitchen between the onions and the porcinis, it's like starting to smell like heaven in here. I can cut those by hand, those bigger oh, Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so I put in my eggs. I'm gonna put in a good uh, couple of teaspoons of salt. This is a lot of meat here. And I'm gonna put in some pepper. Oh, you know what I forgot? Uh-oh, what? Breadcrumbs! Woo! I forgot the breadcrumbs. Let me grab those. I think I have some in the fridge. I like to keep them here. You know what I'm smelling? I'm smelling those steeping mushrooms. Wonderful. So to this mixture, I'll be adding, oh gosh. You know, you have to do it by feel. Um, and again, you gain this uh, knowledge through experience. I'm putting about a cup, cup and a half to start. We'll see if this is enough. And I'm oh. just gonna get my hands in there. Do it. Yeah. Just gonna start mixing this up. Okay. Karen, is this good enough? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, I love your scraper. <laughs> I have one. How did we ever survive without I, it? I do not know. Yeah, no way. Gotta have that. Okay. The next thing is I'll we're gonna roll dirty. the meatballs. Ooh, okay. And you can help me with that. Okay. Now, you know, you can tell kind of from the feel in your hand that they're about the same size as we go. Okay. Let's make them a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Golf These ball? are Polish style meatballs. You want a substantial meatball. You so know. Not it. too small. You can go ahead and use okay. that spoon. Um, not just my hands. This is a good size. Let's see. Kind of big. All right. Yeah, bigger than a golf ball. There we go. And oh, I'm wait. just going to. This one's pretty good. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, just get it a little bit together nicer, you know, so you don't see any splits in it you know what i mean okay let's make them all that size okay. i'm gonna put them onto the dish here and then uh 
We'll saute them. We're going to get them nice and brown. You think it smells good in the kitchen now? Well, oh, those my mushrooms. God. Yeah, those mushrooms. I can still <laughs> smell them. Amazing. Smells so good. Can you smell it, Eddie? Yes, I can. <laughs> Wait till these meatballs start cooking. It's going to be even better. Is it going to sizzle? I absolutely. Karen, sizzle. <laughs> you sizzle. know I love yeah, the sizzle. I know you do. Uh, Nancy. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get them the same size. Some of these are a little too Because they want them to look good. This one looks like a heart. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, golf ball, golf ball. <laughs> Just oh, wait, I'm doing my hands different now. <laughs> wait, that one's better, right? Uh, looks good, yes. Okay, okay good. Nice and round, the uh -huh. same size. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Karen, weren't we supposed to put the onions in here? No, those onions are for the gravy. Ooh, who doesn't, be the love next gravy? Gravy. Who really? doesn't love gravy? I'm getting my Emerald Lagasse pan. You have this one, don't you? I do. I love it. Love this beautiful nonstick pan. It's going to fit lots of meatballs. I love that it has two handles. I can take it in and out of the oven if I need to. It's terrific. So I'm getting this pan good and hot. And I'm going to just put in a few swirls of olive oil here. And we're going to get those meatballs going in here. Let's see. Have we got a sizzle yet? Let's Out of see. here, the sizzle. Here we go. Oh, ah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Coming closer. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me put one in. Sure. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sizzle. Nice. I heard it. Okay. We're just going to get these all in here. Don't overcrowd the pan because it'll cool the pan too much. I don't, I, I don't want you to be offended. I am a little, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going over them because you know, you eat with your eyes first. I know. You no. got to make it beautiful, right? Got right, to. Ed? Got to. That's correct. <laughs> All right, I'm trying harder. Okay, here we go. Look at that, Eddie. They don't stick at all. I love this pan. Look at that beautiful brown crust I'm creating here. Yum. Yum! They smell <laughs> Oh, those are coming along good. They're still sizzling. Are you counting them? Well, I, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping there's a couple in there for you. Mm -hmm. There's 33 meatballs. Woo! Ever since we're little, you know, you gotta share. <laughs> now that I have all the meatballs cooked and set aside, I don't wanna get rid of any of this unctuousness in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna add about a cup of beef broth in there. Gonna give this a little stir to make sure we get all those little bits of goodness. I'm going really gentle on my nonstick pan. But look at that gravy it's creating already. Yep, probably if it's good. If it's good. Only if it's good. Spatula! Spatula <laughs> <laughs> the butter melted, man? Oh, just about. Just about. Throw those onions in. Let's hear Let's the hear sizzle. It. Get them all. Just give them a good stir. I love those Rachel Ray tools. Wow, hangs right on the side of the pot. Fantastic. <laughs> but I just let that saute for a few minutes. While those onions are sauteing, we're just gonna get these mushrooms cleaned up and uh, sliced. I just like to take the tip off, wipe it with a paper towel. You don't wanna put your mushrooms in water because they soak up water like a sponge. All you need to do is wipe them off with a paper towel. Are these the clean ones? Yep. Okay. So I'm using my garbage bowl. We're gonna use at least a pound of mushrooms. This is a big pot of gravy for these mush for these uh, meatballs. Okay, so we'll use at least a pound and we'll see if it looks like enough. These are clean. Yep, those are clean. These are clean, yep. okay. We're just gonna cut them in nice slices. I like that knife. Oh, it's terrific. You know, I can't find it on Amazon anymore. What? This is Rachel Ray's knife. Not the orange one anyway, and they don't sell it separately, but they do have a set of teal colored ones. 
and it's this knife and it's a straight a straighter knife mm -hmm. and a smaller I think it's a paring knife I have to get them I it like comes that in one. a set yeah. I love the rubber grip it's like so sure and it's not as heavy as it looks yeah it's really nice you feel very confident using this knife I see that mm -hmm. Okay, now that these onions have sauteed for about five minutes, they're getting beautifully translucent, marrying with the butter. I use one stick of butter, and now I'm gonna put in my fresh mushrooms. I did use a whole pound. I think a pound's gonna be enough here. When you think about these button mushrooms plus the porcinis, we're gonna have such incredible mushroom flavor. All right, these mushrooms and onions have been cooking here for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. They're nice and soft. It's time now to add the mushrooms. Now watch how I do this, Nancy. Yeah, I wanna see that. I'm gonna carefully take my slotted spoon and gather up these mushrooms. Just being careful, remember I told you there'd be sediment, like sandy grit at the bottom okay. of the bowl. And I don't wanna put that in the pot here, so. I'm just carefully taking this. This sat in the hot water for, oh, at least. Yeah, they got a lot bigger. Yeah, at least half an hour they sat here. So I'm just taking these out carefully. You know what? It might even be easier to put my hands in here Do it. to get all the mushrooms. I don't want to waste any of these. Porcini mushrooms, dried porcinis, are not cheap, so you don't want to waste any. Here we go. Mm. And then once I get all the mushrooms out of here, we're gonna very carefully pour that liquid in here. Come closer, Ed, just get a look at this, this water and how rich in flavor that is now from those mushrooms. Look how dark it got. Porcinis, a wonderful That's thing. That's going here. on my grocery list. Absolutely. Okay, now you can move back a little bit and I'm gonna pour the gravy in here very close carefully so that I don't upset the sediment at the bottom and hopefully don't make a total mess here. You can see it a little bit at the bottom. Of oh the yeah, bowl. you can. Because mm -hmm. this is going to mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. gravy. And so rumor delicious. has it you like the gravy. <laughs> yeah, I do like gravy. This is another one I could absolutely drink with a straw. <laughs> So what we're going to do next, Nancy, okay. is we're going to add about a tablespoon of this uh, vegetable base. This gives such a nice, rich flavor to this gravy. Love this stuff. I never used it before, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, much more concentrated than bouillon cubes. Oh, I'm gonna give okay. that a little bit of a stir. And you know what? I want this uh, more gravy. So this, you can see, is already thick, and I'm gonna add flour to this so it's gonna become even thicker. So right now, I'm gonna add at least another cup to two cups of beef broth in here. We want lots of gravy. What does this, does this go in? It does, you're right. Okay. I'm gonna pour that in right now. Thanks for the reminder. Sure. Oh, go ahead and pour it in. Okay. Brian. Just wondering, because uh, look at all the stuff in there. That yeah, looks pour amazing. it all in. Okay. And that has so much flavor as well. I'm not gonna put any salt and pepper in here yet. Uh, we're gonna actually bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about okay. 30 minutes, and then we're gonna start checking it for flavor. Oh, that's my yeah. fun part. Yeah, that's the fun part. We'll be right back. Well, we're just waiting for those meatballs to be done. What a perfect time for a little drink. I mean, Ed had to make us a drink. We've got our cranberry mm. and whipped cream vodka and lime. We, I just love this combo. And I think, perfect day. I think I've made Nancy a new lover of this <laughs> Cosmo. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to meatballs. Meatballs. Polish meatballs. <laughs> Here mm -hmm. we go. Mm-hmm. Eddie's spectacular. Yum. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> now that my mushroom gravy has been simmering for about 20 minutes, I'm going to get the next step ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to mix two cups of sour cream. <laughs> two hey. cups of sour cream. <laughs> get it all. With about four tablespoons of flour. Count them out. One. Two, three, four. I'm gonna put one more in for good measure. Okay. Okay, that's great. Now, 
We're gonna add uh, some of the mushroom gravy right to the flour to temper it because if I were to take this sour cream and put it right into the pot, there's a really good chance it would start to curdle. You wouldn't be able to get it smooth. It wouldn't be pretty. So that's how I usually do it. <laughs> Let's take this over here and I want you to put in four ladles full. No, no mushrooms, just the gravy if you can. I mean, if you get one or something in there, that's okay. How many? About four. There's one. I think we're going to need five, like five tablespoons of flour, five ladlefuls of the broth. What are we at? Three. Eight. Four. Four. Do a couple more. Would be no Four. harm. Five. One more? Yep. Make it full. There you go. Okay, you can leave the cover off that okay. pot because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix this together. Again, this is like tempering the sour cream mixture. We're gonna get it nice and smooth, and then we're gonna pour it right back into the pan, and this is gonna make the gravy so creamy and mm. thick. Oh yeah, look at and that. And delicious, that. look at that. Do, I, do you need more flour? I don't think so, I okay. think we're good to go. I think that worked out perfectly. Whisk that, Karen, <laughs> whisk it. I'm gonna take my spatula, and I'm gonna add this right back to the pot here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. When you see uh, meatballs, Polish meatballs, traditionally that gravy is kind of a light tan color. And this is where it comes from, is that beautiful sour cream mixture. Look at that. Let's give it a little stir. I'll take that. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. sous chef Nancy. Mm -hmm. That's me. Look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to let these flavors meld and marry and get together. It's almost time for testing. Guess what it's time for? We got to check for salt and pepper. So while the pasta is cooking here, we're going to give this broth a it, taste. Is it time? Is it time? It's time. Oh, God. Mm. 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 I'm telling you, there's really nothing mm -mm. that tastes quite like that. That's that delicious. The mushroom flavor is just out of this world. It's very smooth too. I mean, it's so good. Mm. Now we're gonna get a, let it get a little thicker, but we do need to add some salt and pepper. Now that I've tasted it, it doesn't need a lot. It's surprising, really. How many of these? Oh, 10, 12 or so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. I love the pepper. Love it. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. It's so Keep good. going? Uh, you're good now. Okay. Yeah. Let me just give it a little stir, and we're just gonna let this cook, I don't know, another five, 10 minutes until the pasta's ready. Actually- I can still taste it, it's so good. Actually, what am I thinking? What? We're not gonna, you know what we're gonna do now? We're what? gonna add the meatballs back. <laughs> I'll let you do that, here. Oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. Okay. Don't let them splash too much. Okay. Go ahead, and one at a time, just add them back in there. Oh yeah. Careful, careful, don't I'm splash. Going I'm going slow. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, I think they'll all fit. I think so. <laughs> I almost forgot about the meatballs. Actually, Ed, so I'm good. so excited about this. Are you? Yes, I Is am. Is it time to eat yet? I hope so. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I smell mushrooms. <laughs> Omg. You want to dig in? Yes, you oh know it. Oh, okay. The fork, fork tender. But I was just gonna say the texture of the meatballs. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's delicious. This mm. gravy is like nothing I've ever had before. It's the porcini mushroom signature that makes this fantastic, and all the flavor and the gravy. It's so delicious. Let's try a noodle. <laughs> Well, you know what? You guys have got to make this one. You're going to be so happy that you did. You are. Make sure you click on subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I post every Thursday morning. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Cheers. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers, Karen. Thanks for being here, Nancy. My pleasure. It was fun. Thank you. We'll have to do it again sometime. I know. We will. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Eddie. Bye-bye. You know, I thought I'd never get any of these meatballs, but Karen came through for me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy, honey. What do you think? Mm. <laughs>
definitely those porcini mushrooms. Uh, it's been mm. a long time since I made this. I'm so happy we got to do this today. Awesome. I love you, hon. Love you. Thanks for all your help. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>